Education insurance basically gives you an opportunity to take that child to school whether you are there or not. So under life insurance it ensures whether you are there or not, the child will still go to school. So it's very critical because at the end of the day, education is the key to success. It equals everybody. So we have one solid uh, product called Academia. Uh, this particular solution basically it's, it covers the parent uh, in case of demise. So for our Academia, based on the sum assured a parent has taken, then they get a cover in case of demise, the insurance company will pay 50% of the sum assured to the next of kin and then the policy will continue running, we'll be able to pay partial maturities and still, partial maturities basically are the school fees that come in handy at the time when the child is going to, either form one, form two, form three, form four, and then there's normally a final maturity. So number one, demise, that's the first coverage. And then number two is permanent total disability. When you have an education cover, it gives you that opportunity to have cover in case of permanent total disability that can arise from either illness yeah, either illness, first time illness, or an accident. So if you're permanently disabled, you're no longer able to work, but you're still alive, then education policy comes in. We'll still pay your premiums on behalf of the customer. So we waive the premiums. So you can still have an education policy. Even if it's for three months and something happens, mm -hmm. if the insurance company, CIC, will pay for you the premiums until maturity. And you know education covers are not short-term policies. Yeah. At least an average of 10 years. Is, is, is a good is a good cover minimum 10 years and then by the time the child goes to school maybe on the eighth year that's when you start paying the partial maturities yeah if you take a policy term of 12 years yeah that is the duration of the cover mm -hmm. so that means you're targeting that child to go to school and when you start paying premiums there's also a premium term so your policy term is 12 years your premium term would be around seven years so for our academia, the only one in the market, when a customer starts receiving partial maturities, you don't pay premiums. So if your policy term is 12 years, on the seventh year, you stop paying premiums. You start receiving what? Partial maturity. School fees year one, year two, year three, year four, and final maturity. Other insurance companies, you are receiving your partial maturities. If you're paying 10,000 per month, you still pay 10,000 shillings a month, and you still receive your partial maturity. So you pay premiums for the entire P, Period. So for us, you choose. I want to pay premiums for seven years. Then the last five years, let me receive my, my partial. So that's one unique factor about CIC Academia. An education cover basically is, is tiered towards children. So uh, in my experience, I would recommend if you are a parent with a child less than eight years, then that can really uh, tune in for an education cover. For example, if you give them a seven-year uh, premium term, and they are eight years. By the time they are 15, probably they are in form two or form one or form three, you know, form one, form two, form three. So that education cover will sort that issue of school fees, you know. Yeah, so I encourage anybody who has a child below eight years, that's a good place to start. If your child is already in education, in university or already in high school, probably not a good candidate unless I just want to give you a, a policy. But if I'm to do need analysis, Eight years and below is a good place to be to be in in terms of taking a, an education cover, and you can target university. So you can take a twelve year term. Mm -hmm. Eight plus twelve, eight plus twelve is twenty. By the time they get to first year, second year, third year, fourth year, you have money to take them to university because sometimes it's affordable. Maybe you want to take your child abroad, as in if you want to educate your your child in Germany or uh, Poland or France or the US, as in you, you need money, or Australia or Canada. So you can plan for that all in advance by saving. So we give you that platform. So I encourage Kenyans, please, don't just be fixated on misconception. E education is one of the ways to diversify your investments. Take that life policy. It guarantees your child an education, whether you are there or not. Land is good, but it might not guarantee. It might not guarantee.